Mike and Franklin from CageMinds.com here at the Mirror Family. Boxing is the family business. Yoga Mirror, Sun Little Mirror, Shrine Mirror, the whole family here. And we got the youngest Silver Gloves regional champion who is qualified from the state of New Mexico in our history, Little Room, getting ready for going to national Silver Gloves. It's going to be the end of January, the beginning of February, Independence, Missouri. So, Dad, how did boxing become the family business? Well, you know, I used to work out with Team Old School, Spar Jordan, Perez, Hernandez, and Hollywood, and some of the other fighters there, and they used to call me to the gym all the time, and I guess that's where they picked it up, you know, it was me being at the gym, watching me train, and then next, you know, the older one, Shirai, picked it up, little guy wants to follow her steps, we took her to Johnny Tapia's gym, because that was the best gym at the time for her, and, you know, these little guys, he's been in the boxing gym since he was about five years old. So, Lulu, what is it about boxing that you love? Beating up people, having fun, getting trophies. Getting trophies. So, how happy were you winning that regional title? Even though you didn't get to fight, it was the other guys didn't make weight. But how happy were you still to get that? Happy. Were you disappointed to not be able to fight? Kind of mad, and then how excited are you for regionals coming up? Getting to go to the big tournament in Missouri. Mm, happy to beat up some people. <laughs> and then you're fighting at 50 pounds. What's your prediction? You gonna go out there and win? Get that belt. <laughs> and then we go over here to Big Sister. So. <laughs> <laughs> following in your father's footsteps, having your brother following in your footsteps. How do you feel about boxing and it being, you know, the family business? Well, it feels good. It feels something they feel all well, have in common with, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's, I don't know how to explain this. It's so hard. Someone skip me. Well, talk about it. You got the three of you guys always working together. How's that bonded and brought you guys closer together? It makes us work harder. Uh, we still yell, but that's a family thing. We, I don't know how to explain it. How do I explain this to Bonnie? It's not just me. I just explain it. It's just a family thing, you know. Some parents take the kids to the movies. Some parents take the kids to roller skate and do different things. Our thing's going to the boxing gym. You know, we like to have fun. This one's a, a workaholic. She does the cross country, the basketball, the track, the boxing. You know, this little guy's following it in. You know, it brings us together. At night, you know, most people go home, watch a movie, and eat dinner. We go home and break down fights and talk about what fights next or what do you think of this person, who's going to win this fight, you know. It, is, you know, especially this one. Fight at our next opponent. Yeah. Kind of break them down mentally and physically. And in the weigh-ins, we do, we do some funny stuff. Like, we're getting chocolate wasted at the weigh-ins. Yeah, beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about Dad being coach that you guys like the best? He understands. I think it's when he understands what's wrong with us. He knows when to push us and when not. Where we're done. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Like some, someone who actually will care about you, not just treat you as a trash or something. Actually take that time to focus on you. I think that's what I like. Then also what we're talking right now, we gotta bring it up. There's donation, a fundraiser slightly going on right now. Tell us about that, trying to get you guys out there for the regional. Okay, we have, we have a website set up. I believe it's um, gofundme.com or ufundme.com. I'll actually pull it up on my phone in a sec. But what we're, what we're doing is we're taking any type of sponsorship, donations to help take this little guy out to uh, Missouri. We just recently was able to raise a lot of money to take him to California. Even though we did raise a lot of money, still money said I had to come out my own pocket, you know, which is, you know, scares me. I'm a single parent with three kids. So um, in order, they only gave us... 15, 16 days to get ready to get the money from Missouri. If he don't get a chance to go out there, there's a possibility they're going to suspend his license, so we need to get him out there. So anybody that's willing to donate, help, any type of sponsorship, know anybody that's interested, you know, this guy's here to make history. He has a goal of becoming a state champion, not just state champ, but a national champion in, the, in, in silver gloves. Not that many kids get that opportunity. You know, he may never get this chance again. I believe personally that he probably might end up being an eight-time national champion, but, you know, we got to take one step at a time and this is gonna 
get us there. So if you go to my Facebook, Yoruba Maru at Facebook.com, um, definitely add me as a friend. You can check the link. You know, we take cash donations, anything online. You know, if you know somewhere where we can set up and outside and, and sell you know, cookies, waters, whatever we got to do, we've done it before. You know, it's, that's part of the game. And then also being a boxing historian, talk about it for the state, what it means. Your son is the youngest Silver Gloves champion that we've had, and this is, with the, with the names that come out of this state, that's something big. Tell us, in your opinion, the historical well, well, value. the thing, is he's not just the youngest champion, he's the lightest youngest champion. 50 pounds is pretty much the lowest weight class you can have for an 8-year-old. So for the 8-9 year old division, him winning the state, there's three kids that won at the state level, but they weren't allowed to, to go to the regional or national level. They changed the rules, they got rid of the women out of the silver gloves, which is unfortunate, you know, she didn't get an opportunity to display her skill on a national level or, or a regional level. So they opened it up for a little guy like this, he took advantage of it, it's going to be not, uh, put down in history. Um, Yoruba Banu Jr., the first eight-year-old, 50 pounds, to advance the national. There was only two kids in our state this year that advanced. The other one was Elijah Martinez. Shout out to the 505 Fight Factory out of Farmington. Um, hell yeah. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. And um, definitely, this little guy is going to make history, I believe. And um, hey, he got, he got some talent. You know, he definitely got some talent to do it. A lot of eight-year-olds at his age are just come forward brawlers. This guy could brawl. He could box, move side to side, use his feet, use his hands, and um, it's pretty exciting to see what this guy's accomplished in the little bit of time he's been in the ring. Then Little Rue, got a message to send out to the people why they should help you out get out there to Nationals? Yeah. Yeah. He wants to win, he's got big aspirations. And if I win, you want to go, <laughs> with the hula dance. <laughs> hey, Mr. Ryan, we heard that you're going to be at action coming up here February 15th. Yeah. Okay, this time you can see a different fire. Last time I had basketball, I was not there. Now I'm coming 100%, going to drop your weight. So I'm already there. I'm going to watch out because I'm 100% this time. It's all out. I'm not going for no losing. I'm going for a win this time. Whatever it takes. So, was the basketball in the cross country, was it more of a hindrance on your boxing training or was it fun to get out there and kind of change up what you were doing? I, it was fun changing up because I'm adventurous, I'm a fun girl, I like to try different things. <laughs> so, um, it, I'm like a big cross country basketball, like it was my, it was like, it made me slow down my training, but it definitely made me sore, but I still fought through it without, with all my pain and everything, just like a champ does. So I heard about basketball practice, two basketball games, and two fights in one week. Do you think you could find a way to possibly be any busier? Hmm, I think about this. I don't know. There's always a place I could fight. Next time, maybe, hopefully there's a game. I, could, I, wanna, I wanna play a basketball game and then fight on the same game. That'd be pretty fun. And then hearing that you fought through a fight, a few rounds, cramps in your legs. What was that like mentally for you, knowing that you could make it through that kind of obstacle, push through it? Um, I don't know. It's I don't know. It's just in my blood, in my in my mentality. It's either you have to quit or stick through it and, and tell everybody. It's like stick through it. I don't know. It's, to me, I just stick through like, the pain, fight through it. Because pain is nothing to me, it's just a word. Thank you for the thoughts, everyone. Thank you for the time. Check out the website, support, support them. We'll have a link to it that we'll put up with this video and on the website. Thank you guys for the time. The Rue family coming up as another New Mexico boxing dynasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah.